Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, and welcome to this year's What I Got My Kids For Christmas 2023. I'm so excited to finally share this video with you guys. You have been so patiently waiting for it, and I'm so thankful. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed picking out these gifts for my girls. If you've never seen me before, like I said, hello, my name is Sarah, and I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive. She just turned nine last month and my youngest is Eleanor and she will turn seven in March. So my girls are definitely in that kind of like older childhood stage to tween stage. So they're not quite toddlers anymore. They're not quite little little girls. They're not babies. But if you're looking for gift guides for those, don't worry because I have you covered. I've been doing gift guides for many, many years and I have gift guides for babies to toddlers to little girls to now big girls. And I also have gift guides for your partners in your life, teachers, I have stuff for other family members and friends that you love. I have gift guides not only for Christmas, but for Easter, Valentine's Day, boo buckets, birthdays, you name it, I got a gift guide for it. I will have the card for you guys linked above if you're looking for different gift guide ideas or if you just like watching them. That will be up for you um, above as well. So thank you so much for watching this and being here with me today. I can't wait to share with you guys everything that I picked up for my girls this year. Everything as usual will be linked below. I think pretty much everything we'll be able to get you guys within plenty of time before Christmas, but there may be a couple items that may not arrive before Christmas, but I will definitely give you a disclaimer for those items. But most everything else should arrive within plenty of time for gift giving. The last and final thing I wanna say is that I'm gonna put a disclaimer like I always do. This is just something that my husband and I do every single year. We make a budget, we make the decision on how much we're gonna spend for our girls, what we're gonna get them, and we go from there. This is by no means a requirement or for me telling you that you need to spend this much or you need to buy these gifts or what have you. It is your budget. It is your children. It's your nieces and nephews and sisters and brothers or however you're deciding to watch these and looking for inspiration. Um, this is what we feel comfortable and it is by no means something that I'm trying to push onto you or anything. I just like to share these things to give you guys ideas and I know some of you just enjoy watching these gift guides but I always have to say that because people like to get all up in arms a lot of times in the comments of what we choose to give, how much we choose to spend, all that sorts of stuff. So now that that's done, we are going to dive into the gifts. We are going to start with Eleanor, and like I said, she will be turning seven in March. Um, and we're gonna start with like maybe the not so fun things at first, which are some clothing items. I always like to get the girls a couple of clothing items. They love getting clothes and receiving clothes, but it's also just something to kind of stock their winter wardrobe with. First things first, I got a bunch of t-shirts at Old Navy that were on sale during Black Friday and Cyber Monday for like nothing. Um, and Eleanor loves little graphic tees um, with little animals on them. So I found this like little chill bear. I just thought he was so cute and something that she would really like. It's nice and hot pink and just really cute. So I got her that. I also got her this little puppy one. Um, it's wearing a little heart sweater. She loves animals, especially dogs. And then this, I thought she would think was so cute and funny. Um, it says, friends stick together and they're a bunch of bananas with smiley faces. I just thought it was so cute and so very Eleanor. So I picked that one up for her as well. And then the last thing in Old Navy was this pair of little flare leggings that were light blue and nice and stretchy. She loves having flared bottom pants um, and leggings, especially. They look so cute on her little long legs. Um, and then at Target, I found this on clearance. It was $5, but I think at like checkout, it went down to like $3, but it's from art class and it's oversized. I think it's going to be quite big on her, but for now, I think she's still, I mean, she likes oversized stuff. Um, so it's this really cute little smiley face shirt that says smiley world on it. If you can't tell, she loves smiley faces. And so I found that. And then, um, my mom picked up these from Target during Black Friday, these pair of joggers. I thought these were like baby blue online and in reality, they're more of like a bluish gray color, but I think she'll still really like them. They're super soft and cozy on the inside. Like I want a pair of these. Um, they're very cute. So a little jogger sweats to keep her little leggies warm. And then um, this adorable little self love club sweatsh uh, sweatshirt. 
Eleanor loves sweatshirts. So um, she's already gotten a number of these like cut styles, these like kind of cut off sweatshirts from art class this year, and she loves them. And so I know that she'll love this too. I think it's so cute, little self-love club. Next, um, in the clearance section at Walmart, I found this Powerpuff Girl hoodie. Again, Eleanor loves her sweatshirts. This was on clearance for $5, and I had to snag it because it was originally $18. It has these like little bedazzled rhinestones on their eyes. Eleanor really loved the Powerpuff Girl collection that Justice came out with this year at Walmart, and so I was excited to be able to snag this one for her for clearance. So she's gonna be comfy and cozy this winter. And then she has been wanting a pair of new sneakers. Her feet are growing so quickly. Um, and she really, really wanted a pair of these little Nike sneakers that she had found. Um, and I, when I went to go purchase them, I realized that they were only in toddler sizes and they didn't have any equivalent ones in like bigger girl sizes. And so um, I was so sad because she was so excited. So instead I went on the look, on um, search and the hunt to find uh, ones that I think that she still would really like. And I found these little Reebok ones that I thought were so cute. Um, and they're like these little hot pink sneakers and they have these big stripes on the side of it and they're like glittery and they're so cute. I thought she would love them. She's very into Barbie this year, very into Barbie pink. And so I just think that she'll love these. And even the bottom are like these like translucent um, neon pink and there's glitter all in it. It's just so cute. So I think she'll still really like these even though they're not the Nike ones that she had originally asked for. Um, I actually found these on Target when they were having I guess it must have been Black Friday. They were having a sale, and these were originally like 56, 52, something like that, and I got them in the 20 something dollar range, so a really good price, um, and I think she's gonna love them. And on the topic of Barbie pink, I got her a pair of Crocs. So if you guys watched my gift guide last year, uh, or like my Christmas wish list, or what I got for Christmas, um, I, I had been dying for a pair of Crocs and I was gifted them and I love them and I wear them all the time and my kids thought they were the ugliest thing on the planet until now they think they're cool now so um, they both asked for a pair of Crocs Eleanor was the first one who wanted them really bad and she wanted hot pink Barbie Crocs so um, this is in the color juice and these suckers have been so hard to get because the color has been constantly sold out probably because of them being Barbie pink and how popular Barbie was this year and so um, I was going to actually end up just getting an off-brand version of Crocs because they never had them in her size and then magically after Black Friday they came back in sale or came back in stock goodness gracious came back in stock and were on sale so I got them for like 20 something dollars and I was super excited about it so she has her first pair of Crocs so we can just be a croc family. Now I just gotta convince my husband to get on the croc train, even though I think that he would rather die than wear crocs, but he just hasn't experienced them yet. Once you try them on, you never go back, I feel like. Moving on to the fun stuff. So um, I took the girls a couple of weeks, or I guess like a, two months ago or something, to Hobby Lobby with me, and because they love to go and look at all the different decorations, but they also like to go down like the craft and activity aisle that they have for kids, which is just a bunch of like boxes and boxes of different crafts and activities and sets of jewelry creations and drawing and painting and everything. And they were picking out a bunch of things for their wish list. I ended up just getting each girl two of them because these things are expensive, unless you shop the sale, which I did do, but still kind of pricey. Um, but the first thing is first, Eleanor had to have this one. This was her number one item on her list. And it was the Style Forever Pro Tips Nail Art with a bunch of fake nails that are gonna be way too large for her nail bed, but she will not care and she will wear them anyway. The kid loves fake nails more than anybody I've ever met. I remember loving and dying for fake nails when I was her age. I would like go into the shower. <laughs> I would go into the shower and like let my fingers have like the, you know, drip off like with the water and it would make it look like I had these long nails and I would just, pre this is an embarrassing memory that I'm sharing with you guys, but I was obsessed with them too when I was a kid. So like mother, like daughter, I guess. Anyway, um, but she asked for this and it was originally $19.99, but um, I got it, I think when it was around 40 or 50% off. So worth it then, but it comes with a bunch of fake nails, some nail polishes, but it also comes with one of those little stampers and a bunch of stencils. She always asked me to do all these like cool nail designs that she sees on like YouTube kids and stuff. And she's like, look how easy it is. 
it's never easy and when I attempt it and then she just gives me the like smile afterwards like thanks when I try it's I, my confidence is always shot. So anyway, I am much more obliged to want to do something like this, which is stencil, so I have a harder time messing it up. Anyway, this is cute. I feel like a bunch of little kids and little girls would just love this. I also picked up this one for her that she was dying to have, which is the um, Squishmallows DIY Resin Keychain Design Kit. Eleanor loves keychains. She loves Squishmallows. And so this, you can de um, design your own Squishmallows ones and they have like resin casts that you can use with a bunch of sparkles and glitter. It was actually very cute. Um, this is what the back looks like. So you have all these different um, little silicone molds and you pour the resin into it. She, I, she's gonna love this. I love getting kits like this for like the long, cold, wintry days where they are bored and they're stuck at home and they need for something fun to do and we all can do together. So this though was $24.99 and I got it definitely on sale, but I think it's still really cute for those kiddos in your life who are big Squishmallow fans, but maybe are a bit older and don't necessarily love toys anymore, even though both my girls still very much love toys. Um, next, Eleanor was dying for this big boy. This is um, the Zero Snackles. I think these just came out this year. So they have these larger sized ones and then they have like little surprise ball ones. But Eleanor was dying for this big guy. I did not know he was gonna be this big when I ordered him. So I was very happy when I got him actually in my little hot hands um, after I ordered him on Target because I thought he was gonna be like a smaller, like medium Squishmallow size um, for the, cause they were really similar in prices. Um, but he's so cute. I think this one is more of the like popular one because he was sold out for a while um, but for good reason because look at that little face. Anyway, he's just this adorable little chocolate bear with a little chocolate Hershey's bar. They have a bunch of different um, ones that have like Fruit Loops and I think there's like a Flamin' Hot Cheeto one if I remember correctly. Um, just a bunch of different candies and snacks and they're just really adorable. Um, and they, like I said, they have them in surprise little balls, but they also have them in um, these big plushes. I thought they were going to be scented. That's my only disappointing factor, but honestly, that's just me being extra and they don't need to be scented. But I think it would have been fun if you were scented. So that will be under the tree, probably just as is with a little bow on his head on Christmas morning. Moving on. So um, I decided this year that I wanted to get my girls a handbag or a purse. Um, Ollie has like a fun little backpack that she brings with her friends all the time uh, or brings to her friend's house for her like uh, little play dates and stuff like that. And I know Eleanor's been kind of wanting a little bag like that. As they're getting older, they like to go out and bring their little stuff. And so um, I was on the hunt for finding them a purse. But then what started with finding them one purse turned into finding them three purses or two purses. And so they have a bunch of variety to pick from. Uh, the first one that I found was from Walmart. Um, it's this really adorable smiley face one, very on brand for Eleanor. Um, it has this like teddy bear kind of fuzzy front. Um, and he's winking and he's so cute. She found this when we were out shopping for groceries one day and was like dying to have it and there were no one more in stock and I didn't know if I could find it online. And so it was easy, or I very carefully um, snuck it underneath my gro groceries and managed to buy it without her realizing it. So that was a, was a toughie because now she's getting older. I could do that when they were toddlers, but now that they're getting older, like especially all of like gosh darn eagle eyes, man. Can't get anything past her. Eleanor's a little bit easier. So um, I did get this and I think she's gonna be excited. It's just this cute little crossbody, perfect little size for her. But then, as you do, I stumbled upon more and more and I found this really adorable little Karomi like mini handbag. I mean, it's not gonna be mini for her, but it would be like, you know, mini for me. Um, and this, if you haven't seen any of my past videos, my girls are obsessed with Sanrio. Eleanor's favorite character is Karomi, which is mine too, because she's so cute. Anyway, um, but this was just adorable little mini purse that she can bring around with her wherever she goes. But of course, I found another one. Um, I found this really adorable Karomi um, like fuzzy tote bag. It is so soft and fuzzy. It has the cute little Karomi skull. 
and it also has a really nice um, like shoulder strap that she can carry on as well or like a little crossbody strap if she doesn't want to just use the handles but this one is like large enough to be able to bring a bit more with her if she wants to go or smaller you know she's got variety she's got options but this was just really cute I think I'm just gonna include this all in one big gift of purses <laughs> rather than wrap each um, one individually but she's got a bunch to choose from and then along that same line um, my husband and I decided to get the girls like the little kids version of debit cards to kind of teach them more about finances and budgeting and using like digital currency for lack of better words or just using a you know their little kids debit cards versus using cash because we never have cash on hand and when they you know earn money for their um chores or you know they earn money for whatever and stuff and we're like yeah we gotcha and we never have cash on hand so we just thought it'd be so much easier to be able to just deposit directly into their little kids bank accounts my husband works for a bank and so this is something that he's been wanting to do for a while just to teach them about independence and controlling your finances finances and budgeting um and so we decided we're gonna uh, get them little debit kid cards and open their little kids accounts and then um give them a little new wallet so a couple of christmases ago i shared with you guys like little kid kind of toddler versions of wallets that had a lot more space for like change and you know dollar bill or you know bills um and they loved them very good got their money's worth but this is like a little bit more of like an older bigger kid wallet and i just thought it was really cute it's chromey again um and they can put like their old school ID here if they want to feel like they have a driver's license <laughs> and like they can carry their card with them. Um, it does have money for cash or money for cash. It does have a place for cash, but no place for change. Um, but just thought that was really cute. And I think they'll be really excited to not only get a new wallet, um, but because we've also lost those wallets with when since we've moved. I have no idea where they are. But on top of that, um, have a little card to go inside it. That'll be so exciting for them. So that is like i think a really fun gift and would be really good for like a tween especially like ollie's age who's getting older and knows a lot more about money and how how to spend it and how much things actually go for and how everything i think it's a really good gift for a tween all right and the last thing that's going in that gift is um these little keychains that these girls that the girls have been wanting um they're kind of like those little phone charms that are like the little bracelets um but i have no idea what they're gonna put these on but you know they have uses, I guess, but it's just a cute little Karomi like beaded one. They don't have phones. They're not getting phones, but they can put them on their backpack, on their purses. Who knows? They'll find a spot, I'm sure, but this one was just cute. Um, it has a little plastic peel that I need to peel off the front, but I won't do that until they actually are ready to open them. But adorable. Goes with her full little Karomi collection, and I know she's going to be really excited. The next thing, um, this was like a big must have on Eleanor's list was a little Apple pencil. Now this is a complete faux knockoff Apple pencil that was like $11 or something on Black Friday on Amazon. It has incredibly good reviews, um, but she has been dying for this. And it looks like an Apple pencil, like an actual legit one in a box. So, you know, I don't think she'll know, but if she does know, she'll probably get really excited. I don't know. Anyway, um, this had really, really good reviews. And she really enjoys drawing on her iPad like her sister does. And she got a case for her allowance a number of months ago um, that has a spot for an Apple Pencil. And she's just been dying to have one. So she has a little Apple Pencil on there. And I feel like that's another really great gift for um, kiddos who love to draw and create on their iPads. Because they're inexpensive and they work really well. At least certain ones. You just got to dig on Amazon. And then the other thing she really wanted were AirPods. And again, we're not getting her real AirPods. So um, I found these wireless earbuds and they're made for kids size ears. Cause that's the other thing. She always tries to listen to my AirPods with me cause she loves listening to music, especially with me. She just loves to jam out. We listen to Taylor Swift all the time, but the AirPods are way too big for her little ear canals. So I looked for like kid versions and I found these cute little panda bear ones. They are wireless little earbuds. Um, and he's not charged, but he'll light, he lights up just like little AirPods. You pop them out and they're made for kids ear canals. So I'm hoping that these fit in her ears well, and they have the actual like suction versus the regular AirPods that don't have that, but they're absolutely adorable. They're so cute. 
Um, they weren't crazy expensive, but they were, I can tell that they, they're nicer quality than like the $10 cheapy ones that you can buy. Um, so I can't wait to charge those and let her open those on Christmas morning because she's going to be so excited. They are adorable. And they did have different um, animals. And I believe that they had like plain ones if, you know, you have a little one who wants ear pods or air pods, but doesn't want a panda but I thought those were so cute. Okay, both of my girls have been obsessed with playing with their Beanie Boos. Um, again, if you guys have watched Anime Past, any gift guides, they typically always get some sort of Beanie Boo. They have still been obsessed with them for years and years now, and they use them to play school. They love them. Eleanor will be getting one in her stocking this year, um, but they've been using them to play school and using them like little objects from their Barbies or their like dolls and stuff like that to kind of create the school environment so um, I went online at Target and found the our generation little school lunch kits these are the stinking cutest things ever this is a little bento box and it has like a little sandwich and looks like macaroni and cheese maybe and some like fruit in it and like a banana and a muffin and a little water bottle on the side these are so cute they're not very expensive I think they're under ten dollars um, I think they were like closer to like seven maybe or something. Um, I did get them on like buy one, get one 50% off um, when Target was having their sales, which they normally do for their like, you know, home brands, which our generation is exclusively a Target brand. And this cute little lunch tray that has spaghetti and the little card um, and a cinnamon roll and a salad. Oh my gosh, it's so and then um, they have like little surprise backpacks as well um, that like, Shopkins, but what are they called? Like real littles, but I can't think of the brand name. Whatever, I think Moose Toys maybe. Moose, Moose Toys, whatever. Shopkins has like little backpacks. Ollie's getting one that she asked for. Um, and so I found this little donut one and it has like surprise items inside um, that include like little school supplies and stuff for them too. And they love these backpacks because they can fit like Beanie Boos. So I got her this really adorable little donut one because like I said, everything was like buy one, get one 50% off from the um, Our Generation line and really, really cute. I think these are perfect. These are also really great stocking stuffers, but I'm going to give them as a gift. She also will be getting a Our Generation, or no, My Life, which is from Walmart, a little school kit um, that has like a little chalkboard or dry erase board and like little school accessories. It's supposed to be like a teacher's kit, but it hasn't come in yet. So that is something else that she will be getting and that's gonna all go in one package together. All right, moving into the last bit of stuff for her and they're more like larger items, I guess I would say. Uh, this was something that she wanted ever since we saw the Barbie movie. She loved it, I loved it. That movie is so cute and I cried multiple times. I adored it. And so after we saw it, she immediately wanted the new Barbie doll. I had the hardest time getting this thing. <laughs> it was sold out. Granted, I started back in like July trying to get this thing, so but this sucker was sold out forever, but finally I got my hands on it. Now I don't think it's that hard to get. Um, there are certain versions of it that are definitely hard to track down. She wanted a, the Ken in the denim outfit. I can never get it, it's always sold out. But still, we got one. She's absolutely adorable. If you haven't seen the Barbie movie, highly recommend. It was such a good movie, it was so cute. Um, and she's beautiful, I love Margot Robbie. She was the perfect Barbie. Moving on. So every single year, my girls, I mean, for the past, like, I think at least three years now, maybe even four years, ever since they came out, they want Rainbow High Dolls. I thought we were going to make it through a year without one Rainbow High Doll, and nope, we're back in, back fully obsessed. We got a number of them. So this one is from the Rainbow Vision. This came out, I think, last year. Um, but this is Mara Pinkett, and she is a rocker um, Barbie from Shadow High, I believe. And she is so freaking cute. She's all hot pink. Um, I love it. I love her. She's absolutely adorable. This is actually one that my brother's giving um, Eleanor for Christmas, and she is so cute. So she is getting that one. Another one that she really wanted this year that she's getting from Jazz and I is this one, which is Pris Pr Priscilla Perez. Um, and they did change the packaging. This is the newer line that they came out with. The only unfortunate thing is, is that they stopped including an extra outfit and started including accessories because the same price 
range and point and i feel like the rainbow high dolls did not go on sale like they normally do normally i feel like i can get them on such good steals during the holiday season and they just weren't this year but that's okay that's okay i still did manage to find a number of them on sale just not like i normally do but she is absolutely beautiful i think the hot pink was the theme because i feel like all the ones she has for were hot pink she is so cute um i do like the accessories and they don't have a lot of accessories they do have a lot of outfits but these boxes are going to be so much easier to wrap than the ones that they had previously because they immediately would be like oh that's rainbow high doll that's rainbow high doll and they would just already know so um i'm a little bit happier that they can't tell as well anyway she's beautiful okay and then the next rainbow high doll that she's getting this is another one from my brother this is jade um this is from project rainbow now these did come with a second outfit and i was able to get all the project rainbow dolls um for a good sale they were all on sale um at target or walmart or amazon so that was at least good she looks incredible she looks so cool i love her makeup i love her outfit um, Ollie has been re-watching all of the seasons on Netflix over and over and over again. So I got to see how this like lights up like lightning. It's really cool. Um, and I just love her little cute little like after show outfit. I love that it does come with a, still like a little sketchbook and stuff included as well. But she looks awesome. Jade's cool. I like her. So that is the other one she's getting. And then the last rainbow high doll she's getting is from my mom. Oh, no, this isn't the last one. I joke. Second to last one is from my mom. This is one that she really wanted. This is Jet Dawson. This is a collectible one. I be believe this one came out last year. Um, it does come with an, its own mannequin and sewing kit and shoes, this whole extra outfit, and then the doll. Um, this was pretty expensive when it first came out. I think it was like a higher price, but we were, man, it this still was an expensive doll now, but it definitely was cheaper uh, to buy. So I was thankful because some of the ones they asked for were older and they're more expensive to buy uh, or more expensive, yeah, to buy this year, but it's okay. She's still really cool and she's gonna be really excited to get her. So my mom is gifting her this one. And then officially, the officially the last one. Um, this is Poppy Rowan. She is also the Project Rainbow line as well and she is absolutely adorable. Um, I love Poppy's butterfly outfit. And so she's very similar to Jade. She has the extra after show outfit and then the sketchbook, but so, so cute and pretty. So that is her other rainbow high doll. I also get the girls books or some sort of educational item every single gift giving event or occasion. I think it's really important to foster their love of reading and just learning. And so um, I found both of these on sale. Target was having awesome book sales this year. Um, but I need to, I didn't realize this. I had just unboxed them yesterday and they're all damaged. So I have to send them back and get um, new ones. But Eleanor loves Mo Willems, especially Piggy and Elephant. So I found both uh, versions of Biggie 1 and Biggie Biggie 2. She will read these over and over and over again. She loves checking these out. She will continue to recheck out the same ones over and over again at the library. And so I decided just to pick up two versions so she can have some at home. I do think they go up to like six or five or something. They have many, many versions of these out, but she loves Piggy and Elephant. So I got her two of these. Moving on to the last and final items. So, Eleanor's really, really, really big thing this year was miniverse. She was absolutely obsessed with all the little miniverse um, blind balls, surprise balls that you create and use like resin to create these like little mini foods. They're super cute. They're really, really fun to do. Um, I enjoy doing them with her. And since then they have brought out, MGA has brought out like tons of much larger kits. And so that was like her number one, number one item on her Christmas list and what she asked Santa for. So Santa was very sweet to send the item that he's made for her and prepared for her and I have to send it back to the North Pole after this video but um, I am sharing the other two items that Jazz and I will be gifting her as well so the first one is the miniverse make it mini food multi-pack um, she saw this on cookies roll C which is a uh, kids youtuber and immediately was like I have to have this but she can make her own pizza sundae smoothies pancakes or waffles I guess and like bowl of cereal bowl of cereal, bowl of cereal. Really, really cute. There are, are also, oh my gosh, I cannot speak. There are also some surprise items included as well. Um, this 
All of these sets I got on major discount during Target's like big uh, toy sale, so I was really happy about that. Um, but they're really cute, they're super fun to do, but you definitely have to make sure the resin cures. That has been an issue that we've run into. So because of that, Eleanor really wanted <laughs> the Miniverse Make It Mini Kitchen. And it comes with its own little kitchen and also some other Make It Minis that she can make, which again is another smoothie and these little donuts. But this is extra nice because it has a working little oven that has a UV light that helps set the resin. You just pop it in there and close it, set a timer, and then you have it fully set. You don't just have to stick it out in the sun. So um, really excited about it. It was, again, a really good price because of all the sales. And I know she's going to be so, so pumped to get this. Also, look at those cute little finger gloves. You just, it's so cute. And then the gift that Santa sent this way, um, that she, I think, has no idea um, that Santa is going to bring her, which I didn't think was gonna happen until recently, um, but it is the Make It Mini All You Can Eat set. This is a giant set. It comes with like this folding little closet. It has a bunch of like Make It Mini creations to use. You can mix, mix and match, but it also has like storage space to be able to put your creations that you make. Um, she really, really, really wanted this. This, however, is a much pricier item than the other two items, but Santa was able to work his magic and make it work. So she's going to be so excited to see that under the Christmas tree this year because she has no idea. Fingers crossed. And if you are watching this right now, Eleanor Joe, you know, you know, Ooh, it's getting toasty in here. All right, we are moving on to Olive. And like I said, she just turned nine in November. And so she's getting to be a little bit older. And some of the things that she asked for were definitely a bit more on the pricier version than what Eleanor asked for. And so um, it may seem like she's getting less or smaller items, but it's just because they're more expensive. Um, whereas Eleanor's, we kind of were able to equal the budget based on the amount that we used. And you know, you know what I'm saying. So we already talked to them about that. It should be like expectations are a little bit different. You may not get the exact same number of presents and things may look different, but promise we were checking off your list that you asked us for. Anyway, we're gonna start again, just like I did with Eleanor, with some clothes. Um, this is a set my mom picked up from Justice, from Walmart. Um, Ollie had really wanted this for her birthday because she was having a little sleepover with her bestie, but they didn't have her size. And so my mom found it online and it's just this really, really cozy, um, like with little flared legs on the bottoms, uh, sleeper lounge set. And it says, let me sleep. And it's really cute, this really pretty pastel tie-dye. It comes with a little sleeping eye mask. Just really adorable and I know she's gonna be so excited um, and then my mom also picked up this really cute little two-piece set Ollie is very much still into her pastels um, and has very specific clothing that she likes and so um, we saw this on Walmart and it was pretty inexpensive and it comes with this really cute like purple light purpley pastel um, ribbed cardigan and then this really cute little tank top cami underneath with this little cute bow. She's gonna love that. And then I found this on clearance um, section in Walmart when I found the Powerpuff Girl one for Eleanor. It's from Justice. This was $3. And it's just this really cute little like kind of cropped, um, scrunched sides, little floral top. She can wear this with skirts or with jeans. Again, really, really cute. Um, I did pick up a couple of other items that haven't arrived yet for her for clothing that are from Forever 21, but they take a long time to ship, and so I haven't gotten them in yet. But just a couple of other like fun, pretty cute little pastel pieces that I know that she's gonna be really excited for. And then I did buy her a sleep set. Um, I didn't buy one for Eleanor because I just hadn't found one that I really liked this year for her. Um, but I found this for Ollie like months and months ago and I just couldn't resist. If you guys don't know, I shared it in my last video, her birthday gift guide. Olive is obsessed with Miraculous Ladybug. And so I found this Miraculous Ladybug onesie um, that comes with a little hoodie and a little eye mask. She has a onesie from Pokemon that's Pikachu that she wears all the time and so I know that she will enjoy this um, especially when it starts getting colder and colder here um, this is gonna keep her nice and toasty at night but it's so cute 
Um, I think it's going to be pretty big on her. She's a tiny little thing, but she'll have room to grow. So that is her clothing options for right now. And then for shoes, she got a pair of sneakers, um, some Skechers for her birthday. So I didn't get her any sneakers, but I did. I did get her some Crocs. So she wanted basic white Crocs. Um, she was very much against the Crocs from the beginning. She was like, no, that's not me. They're cool for you, mama, but they're not me. And then eventually she was like, no, I gotta have Crocs. So I don't know, she must have seen something and thought they were cool. I actually think it was on Rainbow High because one of the dolls she has wears a pair of Crocs and that's her favorite character. So I don't know, maybe that swayed her, but she wanted a pair of white Crocs. So I got a pair of white Crocs for her. Really cute, again. Um, these were on sale after Black Friday actually, and I managed to snag them in both their sizes. So I was very, very happy about that. For Ollie's little activity kits from Hobby Lobby, um, I got one of them from Hobby Lobby, and then I did buy a couple of like art related items from Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna share that with you first. I did find this little sketchbook from the Target Dollar Spot for $3. She still loves cats, 100%. Um, and so I got her this little cat sketchbook um, for her to draw in. But then I also picked up this from Amazon. This is called Pocket Room, and it's a coloring book to spark your imagination. She really loves room design and room decor and kind of imagining and envisioning a room. And so it just came with a bunch of coloring pages that she can color and create her, you know, space that she likes. So I just thought this would be fun. She's very much a freehand drawer sketcher. I don't know. Anyway, she's not as much into coloring, but lately she's been more into it. And I really enjoy like adult coloring books. And so again, it'll be something that we can do on cold days together and be all cozy. So I got this for her. And then I did get her a pack of a couple of new packs of alcohol based markers. They use them all of the time. Both of my kids love them and they still have a number of them that are totally, you know, have a lot of ink in them. But I decided to add a new set that was smaller to their collection to kind of refresh some of the ones that have dried out or just have lost their ink. Sorry. <laughs> but I got um, Ohuhu, Ohuhu. I can't say the brand name, but these are really popular on Amazon. They're really, really good quality alcohol-based markers. And the reason that I picked this particular brand was because they are refillable. They're making refillable options now so that these aren't wasteful and you can just buy refills, um, which I think is so cool. So I just got a basic set that has, I think there's like 24 in here or something. I'm not positive, 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 um, but just some basic colors. Like we definitely need a new black color, a new blender, um, some, th some things. I don't know what my accent is today. Some things like that, but um, I really like this brand and I'm excited to um, be able to refill them. So I'm hoping to see, cause these look exactly like some of the other ones that we have, if we can use the same refills on those, but we'll wait and see. But anyway, um, these were on sale and so I grabbed her a pack of these, but she is really, really into kind of, um, like adding dimension to skin tones and making sure that like she has a variety of different skin tones and colors. And so I found this cool pack of alcohol based markers and all different skin tones. Um, they have ones that are for blenders and to help deepen skin tones and all different shades to add blushes and shadows. And so I just thought this was so cool um there's 12 different colors and i think she's going to love this because she loves just like fill it that's like her favorite part is to fill in the complexion and so this is going to be really really cool i'm really excited i found these i hadn't seen these before um but i don't know the brand but these have really good reviews on amazon and i just like popped them in my cart and purchased them because i think that she would love these so her um little gift is a bit more artsy based as usual because that is what she loves um, and then I also got her a set from Amazon or from Hobby Lobby too. Okay, now moving on to her purse collection. I only bought her two purses, um, but I did get something else for her to fit in this one big like little gift of Sanrio. So I found this like patent leather Sanrio um, purse and it has a bunch of different Sanrio characters and it's all embroidered and she is going to love this. I think this is so cute. It has Sanrio on the back with a little heart. Um, and this also does include a long strap as well if she wants to connect it to it. Um, and then the little keychain, this cute little heart keychain. She's going to love this. I think it's so adorable. So pretty in pink. 
just like Ollie. And then I also got her this really pretty, um, you know, same, similar one. Oh, I gotta take off some of the pack, uh, plastic next to the embroidery. Anyway, um, similar, like, plush tote that Eleanor got, but this is My Melody, because My Melody is Ollie's favorite. So it comes with a little strawberry, and again, same thing. It has the, um, long strap and the button closure. Again, I think she's really gonna like this, so I got both of those for her. And then instead of a third one, she loves collecting the little headbands and little headwear of the characters. So this is supposed to be like my Melody's little hat. It's not quite the same. She has one that's like cinna cinnamon roll. One of you corrected me because I was saying cinnamon roll, but it's cinema roll. Let me see if I say that correctly. Look at this now. Cinema roll, cinema, cinema roll. I may still be saying that wrong, but I'm trying better. Anyway, she has one that's like cinema roll um, that's blue and white, but I thought this was cute because it's kind of like my melodies. So I got her this. And then um, she also has a wallet, but hers is again, my melody, um, the pattern here, but that is hers. Same thing like her sister's. I think they're gonna be really excited for this gift. Um, it just makes them feel like big kids. And so they can carry their little wallet around with them. And then she also got a keychain as well. And again, same thing. Hers is my melody. So it's that little bracelet kind of keychain that she can attach to her purse, her backpack, whatever she wants to attach it to. It is up to her. But this is something that they both had on their wish list. Ollie's also getting like her Beanie Boos, like little lunch kits and stuff. But um, I did order a couple of Beanie Boos coming in. Um, from Thai, but they haven't arrived yet. So I don't have those to show you, but I ordered three different, maybe four different, but I think it's just three different, but I'm not positive. Little cats are actually the Beanie Bellies. Um, and she doesn't have very many of these, but uh, she asked for them. And these are so cute, they're little kitty cats. And I thought they would be fun to use for her school as well. So that's gonna go in the package as well as this, which is this Let's Do Lunch. And it's a little lunch box from our generation. It has a little note. Um, a little yogurt cup, a little water bottle, and then a sandwich. Ollie is obsessed with sandwiches. They're her favorite food. She wants them all the time. And so I know that she will love this, but it all has like different cheeses and meats and it has a little croissant for the bread and it's so cute. And then um, I picked her up one of these real little backpacks. She really wanted the cinema roll one. She has the um, Karomi one but uh, we've been hunting for this and I randomly stumbled upon it at a Walmart and there was only one left and I was so excited. So she's gonna be pumped when she sees this. So that's gonna go along in there as well as the um, little beanie boos that she's getting. And then um, for her books, she's getting three different books because this was supposed to go in her birthday um, haul, but I lost it until I recently found it. If you watched that video, I mentioned that there. But I did find it, I was excited. But this is a manga of Miraculous Ladybug, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. This is the second one. She got the first one on her birthday um, and she was loving it. So again, she absolutely adores my um, my Ladybug, Miraculous Ladybug and uh, Cat Noir. So I know that she will love this. This is also a series that she loves and it's Katie the Cat Sitter. This is the third one or the fourth one. Third one. Uh, she has the first two. She got the last one for last Christmas and the one the year before that. She really, really likes this um, series. And again, it's cats. Of course she would. But um, it's really cute. And she was hoping to get this because this came out recently and she really wanted it. Okay, there's a feather. And then um, I also picked up this one for her. This is also in a series that she really likes. This is the No Such Thing as Perfect. It's from the Bounce Back series. Um, and it's so cute. She loved that book. Um, the first one, again, it's a graphic novel. She prefers graphic novels as her favorite. She reads chapter books, but she really, really enjoys graphic novels. So, or manga or comics. Um, so this is another one and she loves this series. She read the first one and adored it. It's read it multiple times. So I got her this one. She hasn't read it yet. Katie the Cat Sitter is also, um, a graphic novel. Novel. Graphic novel. So those are her books. We're going to jump into her dolls because her big gift I will share with you guys at the end. So um, the first doll that I'm going to share with you is one that she has been wanting for a long time. Um, and 
I was able to snag it um, for a good price. Again, this is like a collector's edition, one of these uh, sets of dolls. And so I was able to snag it for a pretty decent price on Amazon, which I was excited about. Um, but these are the Devious Twins from Rainbow High. But she really wanted these is Laurel and Holly Devious. Um, and again, I got them on Amazon for a pretty good price. I think that they were cheaper now than when I was able to get them or when they came out last year. Um, she was dying to have this one from Project Rainbow. This is Amaya um, and she is beautiful. I had to actually send this one back originally because um, it came with like completely marked up face. The hair was everywhere. It was a hot mess but this one came out, came in perfect condition. She's so pretty. Um, I love her little rainbow outfit and her long ponytail so this is the one that she was really really hoping to get. So she got that. My mom picked up her one of her most wanted ones too as well. And this is Sunny Madison and Luna Madison, her sister. And this was in the, I don't know, some sort of Rainbow High special edition one. Um, but this one came out this year. And Sunny's outfit is so cute and she has platform Crocs. So I think that's why she wants the Crocs so bad. Um, now she's absolutely adorable. Sunny's such a cute character. She's my favorite too. Um, and then Luna, her sister, is really cool. She's from Shadow High. So this was a set that dropped this year, and this was one of her most wanted items as well. And then one that she has no idea that she's getting. Again, I think Santa really outdid himself this year, and he sent this um, our way as well. And I think she's going to be so excited. Um, and he was able to make her a um Paris Hilton collector's doll so this doll is a gosh darn pricey thing um but I think Santa was able to really uh make it on a low budget this year but um she uh Paris Hilton guest starred on Rainbow High as a Rainbow Vision judge, I believe. Um, and she is stunning. She looks so beautiful. She has her little puppy, um, an extra outfit. The packaging stunning. I know Ollie's going to keep the packaging, I'm sure. Um, she is a beaut. So I really hope she takes care of this doll because she is a stunner. But also, she was the pricey stunner. Um, but... Sometimes with the collector's ones, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. So Santa was able to snag down the supplies though and create it. Um, but I think she's going to freak out because I don't think she has any expectation to get this one because she knew how expensive it was. And so she didn't even want to ask Santa for it because she felt like it was going to be too hard to get. So I can't wait for her to open it because I think she's going to freak. All right. So moving on to Ollie's last and kind of like final gift. She um, has been kind of back and forth on wanting one of these for the last couple of years now, um, but always kind of just is like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. But this year is something that she's been asking for for months, and I always make sure for things that are a bit more on the pricier side that she really, really wants it, and she consistently wants it for a long period of time because sometimes she's like, goes back and forth. And so when this was something that stayed on her list since like, last summer i was like okay this is something that we can do and she wanted a um, nintendo switch light so i have a nintendo switch and um i have been playing it and she's been dabbling with it too and trying to learn the controls um and she really enjoys now like getting into more and more video games that have a bit more of a story based ones and adventures and things that she can just do a little bit that are a little bit trickier than something like on roblox and stuff like that so um this is an item that she's been wanting for a long time it definitely is a more of expensive item um but we think that she will be able to hopefully be responsible enough to help take care of it she's had an ipad for many years and both of the girls are pretty good and responsible with their ipads so she is getting a nintendo switch and then with that we got her a number of games so some of these are being gifted from us some of these are being gifted from my brother um she asked for Animal Crossing. I'm actually, this is my copy. I'm actually just gonna gift this to her. And then my brother is giving her the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee game. She loves Pokemon. She loves Eevee in particular. And she's been playing um, this with him on his Switch. And so I know that she's gonna be really excited to see that she got that as well. And then I picked her up um, 
a couple of these games that they were all on pretty good sales. This is Little Friends, Dogs, and Cats. This is supposed to be like the um, Nintendo Dogs one or something. I can't remember what that was called. But it was a really popular like pet carrying game that was on the Nintendo DS. Um, and so this is like the Switch version of it. And you just help take care of and, you know, collect your little pets. So they have dogs and cats, and I think that she will really love this. It has great reviews. It's really cute. Um, and then I picked her up, of course, a Miraculous Ladybug game. This is Rise of the Sphinx. I don't think she has any idea that they have this game, um, and I think she's going to be so excited to be able to play this. So I was able to snag this one. I think this is a newer game, but I'm not positive on that. But um, I think she's going to be so, so, so excited. And this one just came out. This is Rainbow High Runway Rush. This was like on sale on Black Friday for like $19.99. Um, and again, I think this one just dropped and so she has no idea of either of these. She did ask for Animal Crossing Let's Go Eevee um, and the dog game and cat game, but she does not know about these two. So I'm very excited to give those to her. So she ha will have quite the collection to get her started. Along those lines, I picked up this um, Switch Lite protective shell. It's my melody. It's actually a like rubberized silicone version. I thought it was like a hard shell um, like I have on my Switch but it's rubberized um so i may end up just getting a hard shell as well just i love i love olive so much but she um has adhd and she struggles a lot with um just accidents and being really really clumsy and so she often drops her things so um i'm not sure how protective this will be because it is so flimsy and just i mean it feels like a nice solid like silicone case but i think she may need like a harder uh hard case so we'll see but um this is just a really cute my melody one so i will be gifting this one to her um but hopefully she isn't running around the house with it and it falls and breaks and i cry so we'll see <laughs> and then um i also picked her up um this little card game box so she doesn't just have to constantly walk around with all of the cases this holds up to six game no this holds up to 12 games um 12 games how many does this hold? Maybe it's six. I don't know. It doesn't say. No, 12 games. So um, it has little strawberries on it. It's really cute. It's pink. I can get it out of his box. And so she can hold her collection of games in there and will easily fit in this little um, carry travel pouch that my brother got her. Um, and it's a cat. <laughs> Makes me think of Garfield, actually. Um, but it's a big plush um little travel case this this thing will protect the living heck out of her switch um when she's not playing it but it's nice and big and extra padded and has like little um spaces to put like cards and games um this is from the brand geek share they have a ton of really 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 cute nintendo switch accessories and protective cases and little thumb grips on Amazon um, for good prices, but this is the one that he picked up for Ollie, and I think she's really gonna be excited. It does also come with a strap, so because that's something that she did want. It was something that she could, she likes to be able to like um, carry it on her shoulder without having to carry it in her hands, so. Um, and then I also picked her up a couple of different little joystick protective covers, little thumb grips. So I found these Hello Kitty ones that are Hello Kitty and Strawberry, and then these little kitty cat ones, which I know she's going to love, and they didn't even realize that until now, they match her cute little bag. So she can have ones that match her actual case, and then ones that protective case. So she has options and variety. Um, something that hasn't come in yet, which I'm so disappointed, and I'm really, 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 fingers crossed, hoping that it comes in time for Christmas, is um, like in my last gift guide for like my Christmas wish list, I shared a lot of small shops, um, and there were a lot of Taylor Swift small shops that I discovered in my Taylor Swift group on Facebook, and um, I found this really awesome creator who makes a ton of custom t-shirt designs for Taylor Swift and Swifties and she was having this awesome sale and I just, I bought a bunch. And so it was like buy one, get one free. Um, and so I bought a couple of them for each girl and I'll put the pictures up, but I bought um, a folklore one for Olive as well as like a pink Swifty heart one for her. Um, and then for Eleanor, I bought an Eras themed one and then a Reputation one. Um, and so they're so cute. I cannot wait to get them and I really, really hope they come in time for Christmas. I ordered them a, a while ago and they have not shipped yet, 
but I know that she was pretty behind in order. All right, that is it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it met your expectations. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this so patiently, so thank you guys so much. Um, don't forget though that I still have many more gift guides to go. I will be having my what I got my kids in their Christmas stocking or their stocking stuff for gift guide. Just so you know, this, this bag alone is just Ollie stocking stuffers. So that is coming your way very soon as well. For those of you who have finished your Christmas shopping and are looking just for some stocking stuffers. Um, I also will be still doing my husband's gift guide like I do every single year. I've had a number of you guys asking for some gamer partner gift ideas and I have a number of those in my gift guide this year that I'm super excited to share. And I will also be including his stocking stuffer in that video as well. Um, and then I'm gonna be sharing kind of like a last minute gift guide um, for just your family members maybe, your teachers, some people in your life where you don't know what to get for them. And um, I'll be sharing my mom's um, gifts that I'm getting for her in that um, video as well as stocking stuffers for her. I'm also gonna be sharing my teacher, my girl's teacher's um, gifts and my nephews. I have a baby nephew, my best friend just had her baby and he is the cutest, sweetest thing ever and I found some really special gifts for him as well as my nephew who just turned five last month and so some like kind of like, you know, not quite toddler anymore but not quite big boy toys um, for him and so all of that will be coming your way. So keep an eye out if you're still looking for some good, fun gift guides to watch. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one nonetheless. If you haven't followed me on already on social media, definitely give subscribe down here and leave, leave a like and a comment if you so want to. I don't know, I would appreciate it. Um, but you can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and I am creating a Patreon. Um, for years, so many of you guys have been so, so sweet and looking to support me in different ways than just YouTube um, and have been asking for me to create a Patreon and I just didn't know what I would put on there. I feel like I feel like I would just not, you wouldn't be getting your money's worth or something. I didn't know what to do for a Patreon. But over the past number of months, I've been kind of coming up with different ideas um, on what to do and what to um, provide content wise for you guys on there. And I just decided that I was gonna do it. I think it'll be so much fun um, to have like a special place um, for those of you who want to support me in a different location, a different place, um, that make these videos possible and just help support myself and my family. I'm so thankful um, for those of you who've been wanting to do that. Um, on that uh, Patreon, I plan on having extra videos for you guys, being able to do sp specialized video requests for this channel. You'll also be able to getting some digital content. So I will be creating like different um, like lists, like this would have been great for now, but I didn't get it up in time, but for like gift guide lists for digital lists that you can create, as well as phone backgrounds, there'll be playlists on there, there'll be favorite lists. Um, I'll be sharing and talking about, we're gonna have a little mini book club for those of you guys who are readers. I know a lot of you guys read, and so I thought it'd be fun to have a little book club together on there. Just a little safe space that I'm sure will be just a little small group of us. So for those of you who have been asking, that is coming your way. I'm hoping to get that kickstarted off um, before the new year, new year or right as the new year comes around. Like I said, I plan on still having like some fun digital content, but also some things like goals for the new year and you can create that. Um, that'll be like a little blank, little palette that you can write on, create and print out for yourself or keep on your phone, digital items like that. Um, but we can just have some safe space and hang out there as well. So for those of you who are interested, please let me know if that's something you would like to do below just so I can gauge kind of an idea. Um, so leave a comment below if that's something you're interested in as well. Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this What I Got My Kids For Christmas video this year. It was so much fun to create for you and I will see you guys very soon in my shocking stuffer gift guide so keep your eye out for that and I'll talk soon bye guys